All right, here we go, guys. And continuing the 2022 Stuart Boat Series, the Stuart Boat Show Series, um, we're going to look at 26 to 30 foot offshore center councils today. And I I'm not going to offer an opinion on which one I'd pick. The the offerings are varied. The prices are varied. The styles are varied. You have family type uh, center councils like the Tidewater and the Sea Fox. Um, you have more fishing driven. Uh, center councils like the Ocean Master, the Stewart, the Front Runner. I'm going to let you guys uh, share in your comments which one you like, which one you'd pick. I presume it's going to be a combination of value, family, fishing creatures. But anyway, we're going to have offerings today from Ocean Master, Release, Nordic Star, Stewart Boatworks, Sea Fox, Sportsman, Front Runner, and Tidewater. And yeah, I you know the walkthroughs are quick, but we're trying to squeeze as many boats as we can into a roughly 20 to 25 minute video. Hope you enjoy. Let me know what you think again. And if you do like the video, hit that like button. And if you're not already a subscriber and you like content like this, please consider subscribing. So Front Runner just came out with a 26, 26 feet. Almost a nine foot beam, twin 300 Merc V8s on this, two big live wells in the corner. And just look at the simplicity. Look at this. I mean, this is, this is just, again, the live wells. This is just a perfect fishing boat. This reminds me a lot of my CV, where you can walk all the way to the front and you, it's 26 feet. Um, so this is like a baby version of my 32 CV. You got an anchor locker up here. Got a front mounting or front opening uh, area to the head. There you go. Back of your electronics, your batteries. You can put a head in there. A big cooler up here. You can mount a trolling motor up here. And with twin 300s, I'm presuming she is going to scoot. It's so about 230 is the price. Nice seat here. Got a little Garmin screen here. You got a Bluetooth radio here. Electronics box up here. Nice hard top. I also like this. They don't waste any space here. You have these ledges. So you want to put some gulp jars in here. You want to put some rigs in here. You just, it's wasted space on most boats. It's very well thought out. You can see they have a big bumper in there. Um, Great. And again, twin three hundreds. I can't even imagine how how fast she goes. Seventy two. So seventy two miles an hour with the six hundred horsepower back there. I don't think we'd go seventy two today with this no, one. Not today. Not today. And the the dead rise. It's variable length. Oh, it's variable. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. It's okay. So the dead rise at entry is 24 degrees. It's variable. It tapers off in the back to about 19 degrees. Uh, the one quibble I had, 150 gallons of fuel, I would personally not put the twin 300s that you'd go through fuel too fast. I would rig it with twin 200s. So Stuart Boat Works. And, you know, these are called spray rails. Hard to see what these are, but... These make the boat a drier ride as water tries to rush up that deflects the water away. And what Stewart is known for, much like Alvary Brothers, is a very deep entry, very sharp entry. And it tapers to the back to a rounded hull. Let's see here. Yeah, this is their 27. Um, I've toured this factory. These guys have a really impressive, impressive uh, yacht-like uh, boat finish. A very impressive process. Again, you see the, the spray rails here. It deflects the water up. Um, twin 300s on this. I'm guessing this is a 200,000 plus boat. See if we can jump on in a second. So, Stewart 27 continued. Twin 300s, about a 60 mile an hour top end boat. 
um, again, the, about 290 as equipped. So with the twin 300s, the twin garments, this boat is sold, but that's what that's what the price is, about 290. And I mean, this is yacht finish on Stewart's. They are. They, I, I got to tour their plant, big live well here, tension hinge. Uh, very simple boat. This is how I would rig it. No forward seating on this one. Three piece hull, combo cup rod holders, big anchor locker here, coffin box up here, seating here. This does come up. Another cooler here. Um, this is how I would finish it. Two big fish boxes here. Bill Jacks is there. Another storage box here. Uh, one, two, three, four rod holders here. Two cup holders, four more rod holders on top. And again, when you're paying 300,000, this is what you expect. You expect top notch wiring, yacht finish, gel coat, head, batteries here. I mean, this is, and everything is vacuum bagged. We, we got to see the factory back in 2016 making these. This is just the top of the top. You saw the spray rails. You got this teak accent all around the boat. <laughs> Three big uh, speakers, JL Audio here. Now you could you could build this about 50,000 cheaper if you go with lighter power and not all these options. Um, but this is just an absolutely beautiful boat. I got to ride on one too. Uh, their old 26 model back in 2016 and it was very impressive. Um, yeah, this is one of those, if you win the lottery and you want to keep a small boat at your dock, this is what I would do, 100%. And you're, you're going to pay for that too. It's not going to be cheap, but it's going to be worth it. It's a lifetime boat. $755 boat show price. Uh, includes radar, includes the electronics, little electronic locks up there, bolster seats here. It's the bow table. This will rise up electronically so you can make a swimming pad here. Nice little cooler here. $247 for $28. Here, nicely finished. No sleeping area, but that's okay. Toilet down there. All right. Batteries, I presume, are in here. Very nice. Flip up seat here. Rod holders up here, down here. A couple holders here. What's under this? Sink area. Big prep area. Oh, and you got two doors, two side doors, so you can get in either side of your dock. Pretty cool. And she should fly with 600 horsepower. I like that too, that uh, boarding ladder that's integrated into the swim platform back there. You don't have to carry a spare ladder. All right, Let's see what's next. The uh, 28 C Fox, twin 250 Yamahas, or two V6s, 200K, boat show price, 199.99. Double live wells back here. Um, slide out Arctic cooler here, flip up bolster seat here. 
this slide well is enormous. It's got a lot of uh, hinges. We're not going to open it. Another big one here. And this one is aquarium style, which is pretty cool. You could actually see the bait moving uh, as you're standing forward of it. Slide out cooler here. Looks like you got storage galore here. See a lot of a lot of nice features. Side entry door, that's how I came in. Rod holders for here. Two cup holders, more rod holders on top. Rod holders along the side, cup holders along the side. Big kill box on either side. Um, twin garment screens. You got a lot of both for $199 uh, on a 28. Uh, I noticed this on the other Seafox models. They have this very interesting app seating where you actually sit. That way your back is there and you're facing aft again. Maybe not the best idea if you're running fast or in some, some chop, but uh, you do have a nice lounge seat here. This is where I'd be sitting facing forward. Looks like this opens and gives you some kind of, uh, oh, there it is. A nice big kill box here too. You can see the gas uh, assist uh, there. These are gas assist struts. Can't say it. Close it up. And you do have a, a head compartment. And guess what? It's finished. That's nice. A li look at this. No bolts sticking out. Um, yeah. Hey, I may not like their corporate practices, but uh, a lot of value here. A lot of storage, a lot of value. More storage on this side. Got one, two, three. Another box here. Electronics box up there. And you have a sunroof here, too. Look at that. Got some... some Fresh air in here. Yeah. A lot of boat for the money here. All right. Another 28 class boat. A Nordic Star 28 XS. $41,000 discount here at the boat show. 183. Out the door. Um, I, that includes everything, not including the Martin County sales tax. What was that? 194. So just under 200. That's with tax if you're local to this area. Again, I, I commented on a few boats. I like this, where the, uh, the swim platform is integrated into the back of the hull. You don't have to worry about keeping the ladder separate. And Nordic Star, big beamy boat. It feels big. Um, you got storage under here. Uh, we got that, that open, but again, dock lines are a little cooler. I'm assuming this a big kill box here. It is very big, very big. You keep your day's catch in here integrated cutting board here big live well here big uh, scuppers here wash downs on either side rooms room for uh, rods under the gunnels another live well here what's on this side it's a little sink area maybe bait prep area yeah bait prep area yep fresh water here room for a cooler down here knife and uh, hook storage here bolstered all around does come with a single simrad flip up uh, bolster seats flip up footrest another footrest here electronics box up there digital steering this has a little forward cooler area oh no it doesn't interesting huh why does it flip up somebody maybe who has a Nordic Star, explain that to me. That's a little weird. Uh, sun pad here, but that comes out. You can get uh, access to the front. There's storage under each of these seats. Cup holders up here. Windless controls up there, that's nice. So if you're single-handing it, you don't have to uh, be at the, be stuck behind the helm trying to figure out the windless. And here we go. Nice finished uh, head area. There's a little porcelain sink there. There's the, uh, the head. It's got a little bit of a, a, a sea deck type material down there, comfortable on your feet. Little port access window up there. Very nice. Yeah. So 28, all in, out the door, tax everything, under 200. Not bad. Not bad. And it's it, uh, beamy boat too. Very beamy. All right, good job, Nordic Star. And we left this out. It's got a flip up uh, seat in the back. Bill Jacks is there. Tidewater 292, 199 with uh, twin 357 
mile an hour top speed. So it's very nice. Let's jump in. Side entry door right here. Always like that. Makes getting in and out easier. Oh, has a sea deck. Very comfortable on your feet. Big live on here, I guess about 30 gallons. Flip up seat, tuna door here. Looks like this is where your boarding ladder is. No, that's a little pitch well. Okay. Twin Mercury 300s. You got another live well here, another big one. What do we got here? Little bait prep area. Looks like uh, some type of storage here. Yep, tackle storage here. Twin Simrads, bolster seats, storage here, battery uh, battery switches there, a little bit of storage here for some small stuff, rags in there. Electronics box up there, blacked out underside, reduced the glare. Did you talk about that? Standard forward area. Nice head compartment. Boarding ladder is there. It stows away. You can see there is a shower in here too. Not a bad price for a 30 foot boat. I like this uh, T top here. Five rod holders here, four rod holders here. You can actually reach them. I'm not on my tippy toes. I'm guessing uh, racing motors, you're probably looking at 60 miles an hour in this top end. 199, not bad, guys. All right, 295 release sport. I think this used to be called the, the 301. I could be wrong. We'll see if we can ask. I don't know if I can jump on, actually. It's actually connected to that boat. I'll see if these gentlemen will let me hop over their uh, corral here into the release. Um, decent price, $199.99, so let's say $200, twin 300 Yamahas. Um, what else does it have? It comes with outriggers, radar, uh, radio, upholstery, discount valid uh, for a couple more days. 180 gallons of fuel, that's a little light. Uh, that's not going to give you a lot of hours of run time. Oh, that's a, that would be the biggest red flag for me. So let's see if we can jump on. Maybe we can't. Yeah, this is the Craval 333. This is 400K. All right, and I'm on the release uh, 295 here. So it does look like it comes with twin uh, Simrad screens. We know it has a radar. How's it going? Good. My name's Jason. I'm good. Hey, Jason. I'm John. I small YouTube channel. Oh, cool. Always looking for deals at, at the boat shows. Um, up to you. Do you want to do? I, I usually just do the walkthrough myself. You, you but can, you I, can do it yourself. Yeah. That's fine. I, one question. One one eighty gallons. Is that is that uh, not a typo, right? 180? Yeah. No, that's, that's actual. Yeah. That's the actual, okay. Okay. This boat's pretty fast. Now. I know, I know. Is this the old 301 or a different hull? No, completely different. Completely. What happened to the 301? They still have it. Um, what they did is they bought the, uh, the Volt Pro Nautica. Okay. Which was a uh, line that was originally started down in Venezuela. Oh, interesting. And, uh, kind of put the release touches on it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, because I remember the 301. I, I don't remember the 295. Yeah, this is a new model. Okay. Yep. Yeah. And I mean, you got a flip up seat here. Is this uh, bilge access or storage? Uh, yep. Yeah. And it looks like it's both. Really nice, clean build. Uh, so it's a finished build, too. That's nice. That's nice. You don't see that a lot in this price class. And it's oh, oh, on a tension hinge. Big live well back here. Yeah, you got a side door over there. Twin screens, flip up bolsters. Depending on what side you're Right, right, right. Battery switches here, more storage under there. Got a big table here. I'm presuming this is removable or it's. It is removable. You can also let it down for a pillar piece for a lounge. Okay, okay. Uh, electric windlass through, through the bow. Very nice. 
Yeah, plenty of room to fish too. Again, a nice uh, finished head area. You don't see the, the bolt sticking out and it's gel coat and a lot of room here. You could actually put life jackets here. You got the toilet there. You got a sink over here. It's a lot of boat for the money. Yeah, and it, the electronics are included in that price. It right. It comes completely ripped in the back. Well. And, and you said it scoots, uh, 64 or so, 64, top end? 64, yeah, depending on conditions and the amount of people in the boat, but yeah, 64 top end. Wow. Wow, electronic box up there. Do have rod holders up here. And I'm presuming this is a little sink. Uh, oh, another live well, too. A little sink area, bait prep area. Yeah, yeah, fresh water. Very nice. A lot of boat for the money here. And one lifetime of the hall warranty. lifetime hall warranty. Oh, loud radio on the uh, Craval. <laughs> awesome. Oh, very nice. Nicely integrated too. All right. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Good luck. Definitely one of the best values here. South Florida legendary boat company, Ocean Master. This is their 296. Um, Twin 200 Yamaha, uh, pardon me, Suzuki's are standard on it. Uh, 143.5, uh, you can add a couple of options, including a trailer for 7,500, and you can get a, a different color hull for another 1,500. You can see it's a bracketed boat, no engines on this, but it does come, that price includes Twin 200 Suzuki's. Uh, and you can see that, the, as the salesman pointed out, the bracket is actually integrated into the hull. So the boat actually planes back here and you get 29 and a half foot of running surface i'm going to take my shoes off actually i'm going to take my shoes off closer to the stairs because we're on a rocky bottom here and it hurts let's jump on let's make sure we're not going to drag any any rocks but again a very nice simple hull layout um you got three boxes back here one kill box Oh, this is a big live well in the center. And I presume this is another kill box. It is. You got the seating here. It folds out of the way. Bill Jacks is there. One, two, three, four, five rod holders here. Four cup holders. Six more rod holders on top. Electronics box. Nice clean dash. Again, no fancy bolster seats on this. This does have storage underneath. Not finished. Again, when you're paying 146 with engines. Uh, you know, you're not going to have all the amenities. Another simple seat up here. It doesn't look like it opens, so no, no, uh, no cooler under here. You do have a step up, but it's not that bad. A lot of room to fish on this boat, too. Massive storage under those. Rod holder storage over here. And let's look at the head. I'm going to guess unfinished, but that's okay. Yep, unfinished but big storage up there room for a head here and again legendary hall legendary ride one of the oldest boat builders in south florida i like it i like it see this is all bird saw the rod holders the leaning post quality stuff all right Definitely one of the values of the boat show.